This week, learn how to create your own custom color maps for your data set or to replicate that color map that you love from another program. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week, we're going to look at how you can create your own custom color maps in Matplotlib. And this is something we often want to do in meteorology or the earth sciences in general, because we have color maps that we're used to looking at certain data sets with. Now in MetPy, we have many color maps already made for you, especially for things like satellite data, where we have some very strange color maps sometimes but I thought it was useful to show you how to create your own. So we have some data to play with. I went ahead and downloaded this TIFF file of topography of Mount St. Helens, and you can download it for free at this website as well. So let's go on into our Jupyter Notebook, and we're going to import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT, and we're going to use our matplotlib inline magic so that our plots show up in the notebook. First, let's see how to read that TIFF in and see if we've got the data that we expect. Now you could do this with geopotential heights or satellite data or anything else, but looking at how to read these files in, uh, it's another way to get DEMs commonly, is something that we haven't talked about before. So I'm going to give it the handle IM, and I'm going to use matplotlib's IM read function. You may be familiar with IM show. IM read is just the opposite. And on my system, it is up a directory and called new10.tiff. Now, if I look at what IM is, it's just an array. And we can get some properties of that array, like its shape. So in this case, it is 1,398 elements in the first dimension and 979 in the second. Since it's 10 meters per pixel here, or per element, we can just add one zero onto the end of that, end of that, and we know that we're looking at about a 10 by 14 kilometer area. So let's go ahead and use IM show and give it that handle IM. We get a nice plot with uh, the default color map, which is Virtus. And really, these are just the element number on the x and y axis. You can set the extent if you would like that to be something in real coordinates, but for now, we're not going to worry about that. I think we can all agree, though, that this is not some way that we would normally look at a topographic plot. Uh, I can't really tell exactly what's going on here with this shape, other than I know what the Mount St. Helens caldera looks like. So let's create a list of topographic colors. I picked out some colors from the Tableau 20 color table. Blue for ocean, green for land, brown for higher land, and gray for the highest land. And that's sort of a normal color palette that we would see on many shaded topo maps. But those values were in 0 to 255 red, green, blue pairs. Matplotlib expects red, green, blue values in the range 0 to 1. So we need to normalize those. So let's create our list. I'm going to call mine topo colors. The first element is going to be a tuple. And the value I get off of the table for the tableau color is 31, 119, 180. But again, we need to normalize those. So I'm going to divide each of them by 255. And you could, of course, go ahead and do that math and type the number in. That wouldn't be a bad way to go. But this makes it a little more clear what's going on. And if I want to switch to a different Tableau color, this makes it very easy. Go ahead and put my comma in. And then I'm going to comment that this is blue ocean. And we go to the next line. And it's going to be 48, 147, 67. That is going to be green land. 
140, 86, 75 is going to be the brown higher land. And then 207, 207, 207 is going to be our gray highest land. So we'll go ahead and run that. And you can do this in several ways. And there are some more sophisticated ways to create color tables where you can specify gradients in alpha along with gradients in color and so on. And if you'd like, maybe that's something we can talk about in a future MetPy Monday. But for now, we're going to stick with a basic linear segmented color map. So if we go ahead and look at our topo colors, make sure our normalization did what we thought it did. And every value there is indeed between a 0 and 1. So now it's time to make the color map. So from matplotlib.colors, I'm going to import the linear segmented color map object. And notice the capitalization there. Now we're going to create our color map. I'm going to call it my cmap. And it is going to be an instance of the linear segmented color map. Notice use tab completion there because the chances of typing that correctly the first time are probably not very good. And we're going to use the method from list. So there are obviously several ways that you can create these segment color maps. Now you can go ahead and register this color map with matplotlib and its color table registry or color map registry. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to get a hold of it by this handle my cmap. I'm going to give it the name Topo Basic. Then we're going to give it our list of Topo colors. And that is all that's required. Now, if I use IM show again on my image, and I'll specify that the CMAP is my CMAP. And we'll go ahead and add a color bar on as well. So there we go. This looks maybe a little bit better. It's not exactly what I was expecting because I only specified just a few colors. And now we see we've got many, many here. Also, between 0 and 500, we're in that blue color range. And that's generally reserved for oceans. And probably if we're above sea level, we're not in the ocean, hopefully. So let's go ahead and change this color map a little bit. We can add a vmin for value min and a value max. So this is just going to change the bounds of that color map. So I'll go from minus a kilometer to a kilometer or to three kilometers. So that's not a bad color map there, but we're still, we have a lot more colors than what I specified. And maybe that's fine. That interpolation is often exactly what you want. But maybe it's not. Maybe you want to specify every single color value. If you're trying to reproduce a color map from a different piece of software, like your favorite GMT color map, uh, or your favorite color map from any other package, you're probably going to need to specify every single value. And then we're going to specify the number of color segments that are created. So if we look back at what we specified, I gave four tuples. So if I set N to 4, recreate that color map and plot again, now we have exactly what I expected. We've got a blue, solid blue, from minus 1,000 to 0, green from 0 to a kilometer, brown from 1 to 2 kilometers, and gray from 2 to 3 kilometers. Maybe not the most attractive color map, but this is exactly what I was going for in this case. And we could also go ahead and crank this up a little bit, to maybe 10 and get some shading for free there and that doesn't look too bad either. I hope that you found this useful and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.